Hi, this is Michael Kennedy from Developmentor. I'm going to show you how to quickly download, install, and set up MongoDB on Windows so that you can run it for development purposes as well as for production and set it up as a Windows service. So let's start by going to MongoDB's website. So here's MongoDB.org. Come over here, they have a downloads folder. And right at the top, you'll see the most stable recommended release. Here's some nightly builds and things we probably don't want to mess with for production. So we're going to pick uh, 242, uh, that's the current release at this time. And you want to make sure, if at all possible, that you can choose the 64-bit, not the 32-bit version of MongoDB, because the 32-bit version, the way it works, uh, has a limit of 2 gigabytes for a single database, which uh, we probably don't want those limits. We'd like to be able to store lots of data if necessary, so let's get the 64-bit version. Also, I'm running a Windows Server 2012. And because of that, I can download this 2008 R2 Plus, which takes advantage of some of the internals and the newer versions of Windows to operate better. So let's go ahead and download that. It says your download is starting, and there it goes. You'll see it's going to take about 20 seconds, 10 seconds. All right, there we go. We have the file downloaded. It took about a minute to download. So let's go over to our downloads folder here and just unzip it. First, we'll just extract it here for a moment so we see what's in there. Great. Okay, so we're in this MongoDB folder named after the file name. It's got a subfolder, and then it's got a bin, and in the bin folder is where all the, the contents of MongoDB are. Now, there's no setup here because this is already installed. There's no install. You just run it with some command line arguments. So let's go up here. What I want to do is just copy this folder to a permanent location, like C program files or something. I don't want to leave the version number in here because if I upgrade it, it's going to be confusing or I'll have to change some paths or something. So let's just change this to MongoDB. I'm going to copy this and just go to Drive C, Program Files, and copy this in here. So that just takes a moment. All right. So let's go do a little bit of work on the command line here. So I have a just a regular command line uh, open here. So let's just go to uh, MongoDB, cd bin. You can see that here's uh, the various program files we're going to need. The two we really care about in the beginning are MongoD and Mongo. So Mongo is the shell, MongoD is the, stands for D for daemon, is the service. So if you just try to run MongoD, it won't work. It'll say, you need this folder here, you need to give it some arguments with a dash dash db path, potentially, things like that. So what we want to do is we want to set up our server so that it has a custom directory folder, takes every database, puts it into its own folder, keeps those things sort of separated, as well as uh, has a log file. And we're also going to turn on REST support for monitoring it in production, things like that. So uh, we can type mongod dash dash help, and it'll you could type help, type help, and it'll give you a list of all the command line arguments, but I already know what they are. So we're just going to say mongod dash, uh, double dash, um, directory per db. It's going to say split, uh, create subfolders for each database, basically. And we're going to say db path. Instead of using the default one, let's come up, uh, go make one over here. So go to drive C, let's make a folder called mongodb. And here we have a data folder and we'll have a log folder. So let's go to the data and just say paste. Great, there's the db path. That takes care of starting it up, but it doesn't do anything with regard to the log file. So let's say a uh, log uh, log path. And we're going to give it a path that's very similar, but it's going to say, make sure I got that right. It's log singular, not plural. Then you give it a file name like mongodb master.log, something like that. And then we also want to say log append so it doesn't overwrite uh, the log file when created. Finally, we want to be able to monitor this through REST, so we're going to give it the REST, dash dash REST command, which will allow us to talk to it through uh, the browser. Okay, so I think everything should be set up right. Let's give it a shot. All right, so all log output is going there. Um, let's just open up another command prompt here and Go to Mongo, whoops, oh, sorry. Program files, Mongo, bin. And let's just run the shell, make sure we can connect. So we'll say Mongo, and we'll say uh, show DBs. All right, looks like we're connected. So everything is running all right. Um, you don't see a lot of output here because it's all in this log file, but 
you can go see here it's it's looking long they don't really um break very well they don't uh, have like the windows new line character so it looks a little funky in notepad but look at it with a real text editor and it'll look fine all right so we've got everything running looks like our server is set up just fine now the last step here is to install this as a windows service so let's go ahead and exit out it's super easy to install this as a windows service you just uh, say dash dash install like that when you run it it's going to go uh, you got to make sure you're running as an administrator command prompt here so when i run this let's see what happens here so uh, it says it installed it successfully we can start it with net start or we could actually go over here and type uh, view local services under the settings section and it should be under our services now so if we type mongo there you have it there's mongodb we didn't really give it a name or a description we could have uh, done a little bit better of a, a job there um, there's a dash dash service name dash dash service description things like that and that's useful if you're installing uh, like a replica set and you want to say you know here's server one server two server three or, or things like that uh, all right but if you just have one then the defaults are just fine you know, for development so um, you can see that our server is no longer running over here but we should be able to still connect to it uh, actually it's not started yet let's start it make sure it works okay so uh, let's exit out of this and reconnect. So connect, share DBs. There you go. Connected now talking to the Windows service version. All right, the command line is gone. So there you have it. Uh, the one final thing we might want to check is just the startup mode. So if we go over here, it's automatic. If this was my own dev machine. I'd probably put automatic delayed start so it starts fatter, faster. If it's in production, you definitely want to leave it on automatic. So. There you have it. Now we have Window or MongoDB set up on the server 12. This works for pretty much all the versions of Windows that I've tried before. So hopefully that's helpful. Bye.